Hello, my name is Develin Efnar Bansvi. I am 10 years old. I was born in Puerto Rico and I have a very colorful multicultural family background. Since very early, my parents have instilled in me the appreciation for artistic expressions. I think of myself as an extremely creative person and I have a curious mind. I like very much reading non-fiction books and I enjoy finding out how mechanical things work. I enjoy playing the piano and reading music. I take joy in drawing, painting, sculpting with clay and carving wood. Currently, I am a fifth grader at Garner's Fine Arts Academy. It has been a great experience because I have been able to develop my skills and talent in many artistic avenues like singing, dancing, acting, and visual arts. One of my dreams and goals is to be part of the visual arts strand at GPFAA in order to continue developing and cultivating my talents and artistic techniques in a disciplined way. My experience at Garnered Fine Arts Academy helped me to discover my true love for the fine arts and the importance of keeping excellent grades in all core classes. These are the five art pieces that I've chosen for the audition. Today I'm presenting two pencil drawings, one pastel drawing, one painting, and one clay sculpture. The first one is a self-portrait. I try to use several techniques, including blurring the graphite with my fingers, softening some lines, it is not focused on details, but rather capturing the essence of my eyes and expression. The second one is one of the first drawings that I made in the beginning of the school year. It's inspired in the Noah story and it's meaningful to me because it's connected to my religious beliefs. It is not a realistic arc, because I was experimenting with the lines, the form, and the wood in the paper. The third one is a still life pastel showing one of my favorite fruits, the gala apple. It has one of my favorite combinations of warm colors, red, orange, and yellow. Here, I really had to work with the lines to draw the shape, but then I just wanted the colors to mix and dance together. The fourth art piece is an acrylic painting. I had really fun with this one, and I think that I was able to express myself better. It is an experiment of lines, colors, and textures between Impressionism and abstract art. It is supposed to be a dragon, but some people see it as a phoenix. I like the balance and great contrast of warm and cold colors and the movement that it has. My favorite part of the piece is this one here, where you could see that all the colors interact with each other. Finally, my fifth piece is one of my clay sculptures. Last year, I started experimenting with clay and wood. I like these materials because they give you the possibility to create 3D art. This sculpture is about 8 inches tall by 6 inches at the base. I use different sculpting and modeling tools to create lines and textures on the, the clay sheet. Keeping the balance and the right proportion was a key for me. Also, drying the piece is a different art that requires care and attention. I had to keep the moisture to avoid cracking. Working with clay is a very personal experience where 
you are in total contact with the material. My leadership skills have been modeled by my parents and teachers. I am multicultural, disciplined, and I work very hard to achieve my personal goals and the goals of my team. When I love something, I am very persistent and I love every expression of art. I respect all persons and I value diversity. I love to help others and connect with them. I will be a great asset to the school and I will bring pride to our community through excellence. Please give the opportunity to this natural artist to be a proud phantom.